Damn, you're all red. You, it's showing up a lot in camera. I don't want to be a baby pee -wee. I don't want to be a baby. I don't want to be, don't want to be in the sun anymore. Pee -wee. I don't want to be in the sun, pee -wee. Good morning, everybody. Happy Saturday. It's a nice brisk morning here in Merchantville. We're setting up for the Toys and Collectibles Street Fair. It's put on every year by Scott over at Play With His Toys and Collectibles. We just finished parking. Everything's unloaded. We're going to go ahead and start setting up and uh, hope for another good show. Last weekend at RetroCon was very successful, so I know we're not going to do as well here as we do there, but if it's maybe half what we did, I'll be happy with that. All right, so we are finished setting up. Here's kind of what we have going on this year. So we got some stuff right here. We're using some of the totes as like shelving. So we don't have as many tables. Because at Metrocon, we get the eight footer. And we only own two six foot. We have to get another one. So we kind of just got stuff all over the place. We still have about an hour before the show starts. And we, uh, I think it only took us like about two hours to set everything up, get everything unloaded and set up. Not too bad. I'm getting better at this toy show thing. Like one day I'll have it down in like record time. Some toys there, some comics. We don't have our tent, which is the only bad part. Cause this one didn't remind me to bring it from the store. Now I'm just kidding, it's, it's, it's my fault. We brought it up to the new store, which we'll get to in another time. And uh, I didn't bring it. So this is gonna be a little weird cause I don't really wanna be in the sun risk of some of this stuff getting damaged but i think we'll be fine it's not gonna be too bad today it's a really nice day out actually great day for toy hunting and toy selling this amigos brat sleeping bag it's pretty cool some more stuff a lot of this stuff is all from retrocon we didn't even unpack uh the van we've had our in malls van since retrocon and we just took out several things and said okay this is gonna go this can go to the booth this can go to the store and uh yeah so after this we'll start bringing more stuff to the booth and then loading up the store which again you guys weren't aware we opened up a store recently uh the new egypt flea market village finally opportunity i've been waiting for for like five or six years i'm still setting it up so, but at some point we are gonna do a little tour of that Got some plush there but like i said just some some of this and that that stuff in that tote there's totes back there you know in case things start selling we can bring things out but uh yeah that's the booth for this year's show so right now we're gonna probably walk around do a little walkthrough because like i said we still have like an hour before the show starts and uh it's not too crowded so i'd rather get the uh the hunting out of the way now um, like i said just while there's while there's not a whole lot of people here We're gonna start right where the show begins, which it comes down here, goes all the way down there, cuts off to the right, and this year also goes to the left, so it's like a big T-shape. So this is gonna be our, our first table right here. How much are you guys asking on him? It's, it's an eye what are you asking on this one? Ten bucks on him. Ten bucks? Alright. I might have to come back for him. Okay. I like this figure. Yeah. <laughs> 
It's got a charm to them. Yeah, right? <laughs> This is pretty cool. Check these out. This is cool. Check this out. Yeah, snap crackle and pop shoulder bags. That's awesome. Did you say you had 35 on the on the Terry? Yeah, I think it's 35. Did you really? Yeah, I had 50, but I, you know, I had it out at Columbus for 45 and didn't sell. No one bit. So I said 35 now, so. Okay. Okay, I might have to come. I actually, I need this one. I'm, I'm collecting this line, oh, and uh, that's one of the ones I'm, I was hoping to find some stuff today. Yeah. The guy next to me has Miss Yvonne, but it's the NECA one. It's not the original. I, oh. I didn't see the NECA, so I'm like, oh, Miss Yvonne. He goes, yeah, it's NECA. I'm like, oh, never mind. <laughs> my excitement just died. Well, my sister-in-law was cleaning up the attic, and the kids didn't want the toys, so I sold her P word for her unboxed. Set, right. And then she gave me some Snow White. Oh, you had the actual set. Playhouse set. Oh yeah, my husband has it. And it's old. It's older. Yeah, and hers was damaged. Ah uh, man. Perfect in the basement. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I wanted to bring it. What's up, Mikey? Here you go. Where's my sandwich? Okay. Where's my sandwich? That's my buddy Dan's booth. I want to see how much he wants for a turtle's cup. If it isn't priced somewhere already. Danny, what do you want for the turtle's cup? Ten bucks. Ten bucks, okay. Clean. Mike, I can do better on that. I have 70, I can do 50. Just for you, though. Thank you. Yeah, no, you gave that guy a great deal. Yeah. Yeah, that, it's nice. That, everybody that's in that position. I don't know. It's gotten a lot of attention, too. Yeah. You know. Check that out. Wow. Set that up next to the Haunted Highway. That'd be a, that'd be a sight. This is the end of this first aisle. This is the main strip. So last year it branched out this way, and this year it goes to the left, which I'm already seeing some big kids. So we might start down this way. So we're 
finishing that side of the street. There was a lot of modern, a lot of GI Joes, a lot of Transformers. Um, not very much in the way of vintage, so there wasn't really too many stands to film. So we're gonna go to the other side and see if we can find any more vintage. It was one of the Genesis 3. And when he's able to pick one of those up. Then an Ice Blue N64. It figures that as soon as I decide to get rid of like all my legends, I find a Craven for a very reasonable price. Well, it's too late now. No point in going back. It's got a war figure though. The Kratos gets my attention for 20 bucks. I have not played this one. I have not played a God of War game in a very long time. So far, I have not found anything that I feel the need to pick up. So we're gonna go back to the table, see how the wife is doing with sales. I might run to Duncan real quick, get a coffee. And uh, I think we'll come out a little bit later on and uh, give it another shot. Because some people usually have things pushed to the side. They don't have room to get it out. So we'll come back around and see if anybody has anything new or maybe i'm just missing something and if i come later on with a fresh set of eyes after a little break maybe i'll find something so we went to duncan came back to the table and the wife actually got another toad out she uh hey, thumbs up there she goes uh she put a lot of stuff out for me and apparently when she put the lunch boxes out uh the garfield one sold which is cool i'm surprised the retrocon didn't sell so uh yeah, we're utilizing all the space we can. This little brick wall, put a bin up, put some stuff up, and uh, getting totes out. We got our first pickup. We went back and got the Terry from uh, Pee Wee's Playhouse. Pee Wee, I don't want to be a baby. So I got Terry from K and K Collectibles, and it turns out I actually know these people. Uh, I met them years ago, probably around like 2019 at Blobfest. Um, I was set up with uh, Retro Rest Stop when he was going as Cinema Sickness. I think we were right next to them. Because we started talking about shows and Blobfest came up. And I was like, hey, wait a minute. I know you guys. We set up together. So if you guys need anything from that spot, uh, there's their information right there. You can kind of hit them up. I know they set up every Sunday at Columbus also. So if you're in the area and you know Columbus, go there and find them and see if they have anything you need. The show is over. We're pretty much getting packed up. Um, it was a very successful show. For a one-day show, if we set up, uh, we cleared a little over $400. Maybe about like 4.30, give or take, uh, probably a little bit more. Um, we didn't really pick too much up. We picked up the Terry, and I know I'm gonna go back and edit this video, and I'm gonna remember something I should have picked up, because I feel like I'm forgetting something. So we got the Terry from the uh, Pee Playhouse. Also, our neighbor had a couple of um, Super 7 Reaction figures that were loose. So we got a translucent Minotaur. Posted pictures on my Instagram of him. He's pretty cool. Got him for $2, because he doesn't have the sword. I'm cool with that and a Rob Halford from Judas Priest with his little microphone. So got both of those in a package deal for five bucks. So not a bad little haul. Like I said, nothing too crazy, but it was a good show, very successful show. And uh, any anytime you do this show, it's fun. whether you're coming out to sell, whether you're coming out to attend, it's a fun time. So we're done, we're out of here. Taking my wife to Wawa to get a nice Slurpee, a splish, as we say. And yeah, that's going to do it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Like, comment, and subscribe. Click the notification so you don't miss an upload. And like always, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.